Good morning. It is, wait, what time? Yeah, okay, my audio is going correctly. It is 9.25 a.m. on Saturday, February 22nd, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I've been up for a while. I don't know why I put off recording this video. Just, I think with the puppy, it changes my sort of morning routine. Like, so let's say it's time that I'm getting up, and I immediately take him outside. But then it's breakfast, and uh, after coming back from inside, it's like, well, okay, but now I want to play with him a little bit, and then I play with him a little bit, but while I'm playing with him, maybe I put something on the TV, and then when I, you know, when uh, he's getting a little bitey and needs to uh, go in the enclosure for a little bit, I'm still watching the TV thing, and then I'm hungry, so I go in and get something to eat, and then I'm playing with him again, and then wait. Oh no, I haven't recorded my video yet. So there you have it. And I was going to do a Paul Harvey joke again, which is not only not timely, but I also I think I did one yesterday. Maybe not yesterday, certainly this week. Anyway, I realized that I was needing to go ahead and get it done because I need to make sure that I have time to take a shower before it's time for the puppy play and learn class that I'm taking Rocket to. We skipped a couple of weeks while he was still getting over the uh, Giardia, but he is officially free and clear of that now. He got his follow-up fecal test and it said all good. He, he's He's flopped right now. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so we're going to go do that. And then I've got a, a friend slash coworker coming over a little later to play with Rocket. And that's pretty much what I've got on the agenda for today. Yeah, but, uh, you know, certainly, uh, I have to pay attention to the time because, you know, if I want to take a shower and then drive over there and be on time, you know, honestly, this whole obsession that we as human beings have with schedules. Um, part of what I was watching on TV, technically YouTube, was the latest episode of All Work and No Play from the Critical Role folks. So this is Liam O'Brien and Sam Regal doing wacky stuff. And the latest episode is about ghost hunting. And I think, you know, like this, this episode is, is certainly hitting the right balance for me where both Sam and Liam are pretty frank in the framing device segments of just saying, eh, well, you know, we, you know, we're skeptics, you know, certainly we don't pretend to know everything about the way the world works, but that seems like something that like, okay, well, you know, maybe you have to see it to believe it, but even then, sometimes there might be another explanation. Um, you know, just because you saw something doesn't mean it was a ghost necessarily, or UFO or whatever. It might be something else that you just mistook in the moment, right? But that said, it can be fun to kind of get into the spirit of things. So when they went to go do this, like, ghost hunting house, which almost assuredly has all sorts of little funhouse tricks behind the scenes to make their various little gizmos light up in the way that uh, is fun. You know, like, they they have fun with it. So, like, even if they don't believe that it's real ghosts, it's fun to kind of play in that imaginary space for a while. And so I, I, I'm enjoying that episode kind of on that basis, just because, you know, that it's... I feel like it's the sort of the ghost hunting from a perspective where I, I don't know. I haven't really watched a lot of the ghost shows, but that's uh, just more or less because I feel like it's not that I am steadfast that there is never po any possibility that anything like ghosts might exist because, like, I don't know that. I don't know everything. But at the same time, I don't think I have ever heard a ghost story that persuaded me to believe that, yes, that's definitely real, and I don't think there's any other explanation for it. Because I think that happens much more often. 
Um, because just our brains essentially are very good at finding patterns and recognitions and that sort of thing where they aren't. I mean, just like how you have a little complex wallpaper and your brain kind of tries to see faces in it, that they're not actually faces there. It's just your brain kind of doing its subconscious thing. And I think a lot of paranormal experiences probably come down to sort of mild hallucinations and that sort of thing. Which again, it's like, I, you know, I don't know that for certain. But that seems more likely to me. Anyway. Um, but it's still fun to watch these guys run around in their Ghostbusters coveralls and and scream because the, their little EMF meter is going, woo! <laughs> Silly. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes. Uh, and of course it will be Sunday, so continuing my rewatch of Cowboy Bebop. Uh, we're coming into the home stretch on that show, and uh, it's a good time. So, in the meantime, talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.